what are the foods and drinks you need to avoid during pregnancy today we are going to talk about everything which you should not eat when you are pregnant and we will talk about why why should you not eat them or drink them so today so this is our topic for today hello and welcome to my channel i'm dr paramjeet and you're watching doctor education and as you all know we are talking about pregnancy and we have already made three videos on pregnancy first was what is the actual recommended pregnancy diet why do you gain so much weight what is the extra calorie requirement which you need second video we discuss about the diet recommendations for vegetarians during pregnancy and third video we discussed about the food cravings in pregnancy if you haven't watched these videos then go back to my channel and don't forget to watch these video after you watch this one so today's topic is foods and drink which you need to avoid while you're pregnant so let's start if you want to know about health and have health concerns then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon you'll be notified about all upcoming videos so guys first of all let me start with alcohol no level of alcohol consumption is considered safe during pregnancy everybody knows that you cannot drink any type of alcohol during pregnancy so check with your doctor before taking any vitamins or herbal products because some of these can contain some amount of alcohol and can be harmful to the developing fetus the second thing you need to avoid is caffeine although many doctors might tell you that one or two 6 to 8 ounce cups of coffee or tea or soda with caffeine is okay won't harm you or your baby but it's probably wise to avoid caffeine altogether if you can caffeine is present in tea coffee and soda any soda pepsi cola mirinda whatever you drink so if you can avoid them you should that's the best approach hi why should you avoid them because high caffeine consumption has been linked to an increased risk of miscarriage and other problems and pregnancy complications so limit your intake and switch to decaffeinated products decaffeinated coffee something like that you can take decaf third thing which you need to do is when you are pregnant it's very important to avoid food borne illnesses food poisonings especially listerosis or toxoplasmosis which actually can be life threatening to your unborn child and may cause birth defects or miscarriages so foods to steer clear there are some food products some specific type of food products you need to avoid and look for for example soft unpasteurized cheese like blue cheese feta goat cheese then brie camembert cheese now it might be possible that the seller might advertise them as fresh but basically these are unpasteurized cheese these are made up of unpasteurized milk should not be used so basic thing is unpasteurized milk non pasteurized milk should not be used non pasteurized juices apple cider apple cider vinegar should not be used then raw eggs should be avoided or foods containing raw eggs can be avoided including mousse which you eat in the bakeries or tiramisu pastries tiramisu and mousse should be avoided then raw or undercooked meat fish especially shellfish raw or undercooked meat fish shellfish should be avoided processed meat processed meats such as hot dogs or desi or deli meat any processed meat such as hot dogs or deli meats should be cooked thoroughly before eating 
fish that are high in mercury such as sharks swordfish king mackerel marlin orange ruffy tuna steak and tile fish should be avoided if in case you have eaten any of these food products at some point during your pregnancy try not to worry try not to worry too much about it now because just avoid them for the remaining period of your pregnancy and if you are really over concerned talk to your doctor it's not that these all products will definitely cause problem or cause infections these might have infections of bacteria and therefore raw or unpasteurized meat or food should not be eaten should be avoided the word is avoided that's not something which you cannot eat at all you need to avoid them if possible same goes for caffeine but alcohol should not be eaten at all let's talk a little more about fish fish and shellfish actually can be extremely healthy part of your pregnancy diet because they contain the beneficial omega 3 fatty acid and are very high in proteins and very low in saturated fats but you need to limit the type of fish you eat while pregnant because some contain high level of mercury which can cause damage to the developing nervous system of the baby mercury occurs naturally in our environment and is also released into the air through industrial pollutions and can be accumulated and can accumulate in the streams and oceans where it can turn into methyl mercury and this methyl mercury builds up in fish especially those that eat other fishes if some type of fish eats other fishes they can be very high in mercury so don't eat that kind of fish canned tuna tuna that comes in cans can be confusing because the can contains different type of tuna and varying quantity of mercury therefore it is actually a recommendation of us food and drug administration the fda that any kind of canned tuna or canned food rather should be avoided i understand that it can be confusing because a couple of recommendations from different trusted sources are different in this case but the word here is to try to avoid that is not something which you cannot take at all it's better to avoid see almost all fish and shellfish contain very tiny trace small amount of mercury but you can safely eat up to 12 ounces that is two average meals of a fish any variety per week so you can eat salmon you can eat shrimp you can eat catfish pollocks tilapia so you can eat all these varieties you can talk to your doctor if you have any questions about how much and what kind of fish you can eat that is all about what kind of foods and drinks you need to avoid during pregnancy so i hope you like the video and if you did then don't forget to share this video to all your friends and family and ask them to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon if this is useful for you it's useful for them as well so do let me know how you feel about this video and don't forget to watch the other videos in this series and many more videos are coming up the next video will contain some very common pregnancy problems which you face during pregnancy like constipation gas and nausea and how actually can you deal with them so we'll briefly talk about them in the next video so stay connected guys those who don't know me i am a consultant physician cardiologist in yashoda super specialty hospital in hyderabad delhi ncr and this is my channel doctor education i'll see you tomorrow stay connected stay healthy so there are some foods you need to be of so check with your doctor before taking so check with pregnancy ke dauran including moose 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 or tiramisu see almost all fish or shellfish 
almost all fish specifically and and shellfish almost see almost all fishes and self shellfish so if a fish that's good that's good that's good